Hey everyone, Jamie here, and in this video I wanted to do something a little bit different than what we typically do here on the channel, and I wanted to give my first impressions on the Apple Card, which I actually received in the mail yesterday. So to give a bit of background information on what the Apple Card actually is, uh, the Apple Card was announced at the Apple Special event on March 25th, which was the same event that the Apple Plus, Apple News Plus, and Apple Arcade services were announced as well. So Apple began inviting users to apply for the card, which is actually uh, a MasterCard issued by the Goldman Sachs Bank, on August 6th, and with the full-scale launch happening yesterday, uh, or August 20th. So while the Apple Card actually does share many features with traditional credit cards offered by other banks, uh, the Apple Card has some features that are unique to it, which help th promote things like financial literacy, uh, as well as the security of the actual card uh, in the user's data as well. So while I haven't actually purchased anything with the Apple Card yet, I wanted to take an opportunity in this video to basically give you my first impressions of the Apple Card itself, as well as take a look at some of the features that are available to help manage the card. So the Apple Card was shipped by UPS, and inside of the UPS envelope was this brown cardboard um, envelope or, or small box, and inside of that was this white Apple envelope that actually contained the Apple Card itself. So the white envelope here actually has this pretty minimalistic, classic Apple design to it. It's all white on the front, all white on the back, uh, and the only thing that's really on it is the Apple logo, and then Apple's address and some other information on the bottom of the back. So when we open up the envelope here, you'll notice that the Apple Card is situated in the center of the bottom half of the envelope, and it's actually held in there pretty well, and the inside of the envelope has, as you can see, this nice color scheme to it, uh, which Apple kind of uses throughout their Apple Card uh, promotional material and whatnot. So in order to activate your Apple Card, all you have to do is wake up your iPhone and just hold it toward the bottom of the card there, where it says to place your phone, and you'll get prompted to activate the card in this white dialog box. All you have to do is tap activate, the loading spinner will spin for a little while, and then your card will be good to go. So the card itself is made out of titanium, and it actually feels very good in the hand. It's very premium feeling, uh, has a little bit of weight to it, and the only information that's on the card is just your name, the Apple logo, and then the Goldman Sachs and MasterCard logos on the back of the card. And on the front of the card you're going to have your chip, and on the back you're going to have your magnetic strip. And the good thing is that if you do have to use uh, your card number for any reason, um, it is available within the Wallet app, so you're not going to be totally out of luck there. And just for fun, I included this next clip so you can hear what the card sounds like when it's dropped. So if you want to view your card's balance or see your transaction history, uh, or you want to pay your bill, all you have to do is go on over to the Apple Wallet app, where you're going to see an interface that looks something like this. And the cool thing is, the interface presents all of your card's data and information in an easy to see and graphical format, uh, which just kind of makes it you know, easy to see where your money's going, uh, how much money you've spent, your spending history, things like that. And if you want to get your card's number and, and other information like that as well, it's going to be available here too. So one of the other cool things about the Apple Card is that as you continue to make purchases, the card will start to turn colors within the Apple Wallet app. So in this case, you'll notice that my card is starting to turn purple, and the more and more transactions that you make, the more colors your Apple Card will turn. And these colors are indicative of the category of transaction that you made. So for example, restaurants might be, might be one color, uh, gas station purchases might be another color, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And like with other credit cards, the Apple Card does offer some rewards or cash back uh, bonuses, and that includes 3% for any purchase that you make at an Apple Store, 2% for purchases that were made using Apple Pay, and 1% cash back for any other purchase that you make using the regular or physical card itself. So while I'm not really sure whether the Apple Card will end up being my most used credit card, uh, I do think it's pretty cool and I do think a lot of the features that are available uh, in the Apple Wallet app to let you manage your finances and manage the card itself are pretty cool and can be helpful to many people. So for more information about the Apple Card, I'd recommend you head on over to apple.com. Uh, and if you'd like to apply for an Apple Card, all you have to do is head on over to the Apple Wallet app and hit the little plus button in the corner uh, where you can then fill out an application and get an Apple Card of your own. So thank you for watching this video. I know it's not the typical type of video that I might have on this channel, so I'd be interested to hear what you think about this format and this type of video in the comments section below. And uh, feel free to let me know if you'd like to see more or anything like that. Uh, and thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.